Hey, and thank you so much for joining me for today's at-home Pilates session. Today is a total body sculpt using weights. So I've got a small set of five pound weights that I'm gonna use for my upper body work, and then I'm gonna to switch to a heavier single dumbbell, that's eight pounds, that I'm gonna use for my ab and lower body work. So if you've got lighter weight, heavier weight, or you don't wanna use any weight at all, that's perfectly fine. You'll still get in a great workout. Just make sure that you are choosing something that is challenging for you. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna place my weight off to the side of the mat, sitting in a cross-legged position. We want our hips evenly weighted here. Spine is nice and tall, vertebra are stacked one on top of the other and the chin is parallel with the floor. Let's just move into some side body stretches here. So I'm gonna place my right hand down on the mat, reaching up and over with left fingertips, not letting the left hip lift off the mat. We want it evenly weighted with the right. Now switching sides, reaching and stretching, keeping the chest nice and open here. And just moving on the breath, alternating sides, reaching and stretching as we mobilize the neck, bringing the ear toward the shoulder and mobilize the spine, stretching and lengthening through that side body. For three, reach a bit further and two, and we'll make it even with one more on each side. Nicely done. Now we're going to lengthen the arms out long as though we were reaching for opposite sides of the room. We're just gonna draw some nice big circles. Circling back, keep reaching through those fingertips, mobilizing the shoulders, breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Now we're going to increase the speed of those circles. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Neck is nice and long here. Abdominals are plugged in. Good, increasing the speed of those circles and now we're gonna decrease the size of those circles. So tiny little circles here. Keep those fingertips nice and long. Small, tight circles, strong arms. Good, really starting to feel those shoulders warming up. Abs are in for five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down, lift your shoulders up by your ears and roll them down and back, amazing. I'm gonna get into a kneeling position. You can stand or you can kneel on your mat, holding on to your weight. We're going to move into some shoulder presses, a combination move. So it's gonna be two shoulder presses, palms facing in, one, two, and then we're gonna pull back, drawing the shoulder blades together, drawing the elbows back for one and two. Now be really careful not to arch as you pull back. You want your spine to be nice and tall, abs are plugged in, so we're up, up, pull back, contract the upper back muscles back. Good, lift, lift, pull back, pull back. Good, up, two, nice long neck, contract those upper back muscles as you pull back. Make that pull back really count by contracting your shoulder blades together without arching the spine. Good. And back. Two, good. Lift, lift, keep those arms parallel. As you lift up, really press up through the weights. Lift, two, and back, two. Nice work. Up two, and back, two. Last set, and pull back, contract those upper back muscles, nicely done. Now we're gonna move into some bicep curls. So we're going to lock the upper arms in toward the side of the body. I'll just take more of a side view so you can see. I'm bringing fist toward the shoulder, 
not letting that upper arm move twice. And on the second one, I'm coming out with the weight at shoulder height, rotating so that the weight is in my fists and my palms are facing down. So I'm coming in and out, lower. Two bicep curls, one, two, twist, twist. Lower down, lift, lift, and twist, twist. Nice work. Up, two, so you're rotating the position of your wrists to move between those extensions and bicep curls. And open to curl, nice work. As you extend, keep those arms nice and strong. Try not to let the shoulders hunch up by the ears. Keep those arms really lengthened and lower with control before switching into position for that bicep curl. Nice. Abs are in here. Good. Lower with control. Pull up into that bicep, really flex and squeeze the muscles throughout this range of movement. Last set. And lower with control. Nice work. Now I'm going to place one of my weights off to the side of the mat and we're going to go into some tricep extensions here. So I'm going to bring the weight overhead holding it in my right hand here. I'm going to place my left hand behind my arm for support. Bending at the elbow, keeping the upper arm stationary, we're going to go into one arm tricep extension. So slow it down here, keep it controlled, and really focus on the back of the arm working here. Breathe out to push up through the heel of the hand. Keep that arm the upper arm straight up. Don't want to let it drop. Hinging from the elbow. We've got three, two, and one. Relax it down. Nice work. Now we're going to switch sides. Left arm comes up. Right hand just taps behind the elbow or touches behind the elbow just to encourage that arm to stay lifted and just give it a little bit of support. Keep that neck nice and long. Try not to lean back through the spine and really focus mind muscle connection on the back of the arm doing the work. You can slow it down if you need to. Try not to let the chin drop. We've got four, three, two, and one. Amazing work. Give your shoulders a little bit of a roll. And we're going to move into double tricep extension. So you can use one weight or two. I'm going to use two together. Arms are, upper arms are straight up and down, bending, hinging at the elbow, and pushing up. Again, really focusing on the backs of the arms here, making sure they're working hard to push that weight back overhead. Good. Keep breathing. Pushing up through the heels of the hands. Keeping those arms parallel, so not letting the elbows splay out to the side. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Roll those shoulders back for three. And two, let the tension melt away and one. Amazing. So I'm now going to switch to my heavier weight. I'm just going to use a single dumbbell and that is eight pounds. But again, 
You don't need to use any weight at all for these abdominal and lower body exercises. So I'm going to roll down onto the mat one vertebra at a time. And I'm gonna hold my weight kind of like a hammer, like so, elongated. If you're not using a weight, you're just gonna place your palms together like so. I'm going to bring the soles of my feet together. Knees are wide in a diamond shape. The weight is overhead. We're gonna inhale here. And as we exhale, we're gonna come up, bringing the weight toward the feet. Tap the feet down to the mat, keeping them pressed together and lift. Tap and lift. Inhale and abs into lift. Good, lower and lift. So moving into these crunches, peeling head, neck and shoulders up as you bring weight or palms toward the feet. Really scoop in those lower abdominals as you lift. Work those upper abs as you crunch. Moving on the breath. <sighs> Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Lower and lift. Good. <sighs> really draw your abdominals tightly in towards your spine as you lift up. Pressing low back into the mat. <sighs> For three, <sighs> two, <sighs> last one. Nicely done. Bend at the knees, change your grip on the weight if you're holding it. If you're not holding a weight, your palms are facing in toward each other. Fingers are long. We're gonna bring our legs into a tabletop position here. Head, neck and shoulders are staying down on the mat for now. So our movement with our legs is extend the leg, lift the leg and back to tabletop. Opposite leg, extend, lift, tabletop. So you're alternating sides. Now, if that's a bit much for you, I just want you to move between extend, tabletop, extend, tabletop, rather than also lifting the legs. So let's go ahead and get started. Extending, lifting, and bending, or simply extending and bending. Good, extend, lift, and bend for the full version. Good, abdominals are plugged in here as you lift and lower the leg. Now, if it's too much holding your arms up above your shoulders, you can always take your hands down by your side, or you can even bring your palms on either side of your tailbone under your body down on the mat to support your low back. Good, just really focusing on the breath, using your lower abs to really lift that leg up. Good. Breathing as you go in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now, if you're good here, we're gonna pick up the level of challenge by lifting head, neck and shoulders. Keep your arms nice and strong here. So I want you to be really strengthening your arms by really holding that weight with purpose. Good, head, neck and shoulders, if they're lifted, should be relaxed. You don't want strain in the neck. And if that's starting to happen, simply lower head, neck and shoulders down. Good, focusing on those abs. We've got five, four, three, nice control, two, and one. Bend and lower the legs. Amazing work. We're now gonna go into the double leg stretch. Option one, you bring the weight to your shins or your hands to your shins and extend and then bring it in on the exhale. Option two, if you wanna pick up the level of challenge, you're coming out, separating the legs, bringing them together and coming in with the weight resting onto your shoulder. Your head, neck and shoulders will remain lifted. So you're either here or here. Let's get started. So for the, full, for the full version, it's opening the legs and then coming back in, good. Holding the weight just overhead and then bringing it in. Extend, 
abs in as you bring the legs into the body. Nice work, keep it up. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. If your head, neck, and shoulders are straining, you can lower them down for a couple of reps and focus on control and breath. Good, precision. Toes are pointed as you come out. And finishing off for four and three. Last two and final one. Bring it in, relax head, neck and shoulders down. Gently rock from side to side. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Stretch your arms and legs out long. Deep inhale and exhale, lift up and roll over. You can place your weight down for a moment and just fold over the lower body Coming into a nice deep stretch for three and two and one. Roll it up. Nicely done. Now we're going to go into some twists. So we are going to find the center of the mat, holding onto the weight, or you can choose to do it weightless. If you're doing it weightless, you're just going to hold as though you're holding an imaginary weight as we twist from side to side, really focusing on the waistline. So the knees are bent, you want your hips evenly weighted. I'm holding on to either end of the dumbbell and just leaning back. So the abs are already engaged here in that lean back. Shoulders are down away from the ears. We're gonna switch, switch, switch. Pay attention to your knees, make sure they're not swaying from side to side. Your hips are evenly weighted you want this movement to be really controlled and focused on the waist. Good, abs are in. If you need to slow it down to get that control and stability in the lower body, please do so. Nice work, keep twisting for five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Now we're gonna add a leg extension. So I'm gonna extend my left leg out long. As I twist to the left, my leg is extended. As I twist to the right, the knee bends in. So extend, leg hovers off the floor, and twist. Extend and twist. Again, moving as slowly as you need to to maintain control and stability. Good, lean back a little bit further if you can. Tighten that core. Hips are evenly weighted here. Toe is pointed on that extended leg and thigh is flexed to help with stability. We've got three, two, and one. Whew, those were tough. Stretch the spine. We're going to extend the right leg out long now. As we twist to the right, it's extended. As we twist over to the left, we bend. Good. Small range of movement, but it really fires up those obliques. Good, try to get as much of a twist as you can without lifting those hips up off of the mat. Or bum cheeks. Keep them evenly weighted. Nice. We've got six, five bellies in, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Whew. Take a minute here, just cross your legs. Sit up nice and tall through the spine. Take your left hand over your right knee and just do a little bit of a side body twist. Taking a couple deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then twist over the other side. 
Nice tall spine looking out over your shoulder for three and two and one. Let's relax it down on the mat and get into place for our side body glute and thigh work. So we're going to bring the knees in, knees are lined up, feet are lined up, hips are stacked. Plug your navel in towards your spine. You can either be propped up on your hand or on your outstretched arm. I'm going to place my weight on my thigh. It might feel more comfortable for you to do it lengthwise or crosswise or maybe no weight at all. Maybe you have a set of ankle weights you'd rather throw on. Up to you. So I'm going to lift the leg, the lower part of the leg up. Toes are pointed and we're just going to rotate the knee up and down. Lift and lower. Now really focus on maintaining the stacking of the hips. So you don't want to pull that leg right back. You're just lifting and lowering. You're keeping those legs parallel as you do so. Really focusing on your glute here. Squeeze at the top of the lift. So squeeze as you rotate open and then lower, just tap before lifting again. Sometimes I get a bit of a foot cramp when I do this one and I need to remind myself not to let my shoulders hunch up by my ears. So keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Small range of movement, focusing on the glute. Squeeze at the top of the lift as you rotate the knee up. Good. We've got three, two, and one. Nice work. Now I'm going to extend my leg out long and I'm going to flex the foot. We're going to lift and lower, lift and lower. So I really want you to press out through the heel. Keep that leg nice and long. Squeeze the glutes and thighs as you lift and lower. Driving through that heel. Good, we've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold at the top of the movement. Now point the toe and move into some circles here. Slow and controlled. You don't want your upper body rocking around. Drawing a smooth circle in the air, lengthening out through that toe. Good and pause. We're going to reverse direction. Good. Abs are in here. Torso is still in stable. For three, two, and one. Hold. Tiny circles forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten reverse directions. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Lower your weight if you're using it off to the side of the mat. Come up onto your supporting knee. Walk your hands forward. Curl the toes of the supporting leg and push up into a one-legged dog. So you, the leg that you just worked is extended and lengthened. Now you're going to fold that leg under you, coming into pigeon pose. So we're gonna stretch. You can really feel the area that just got worked. It's tight, so let's stretch it out. Roll your shoulders down and back for three and two and one, bringing yourself over onto your other side. We're gonna take the weight with us if we're using it. And bending at the knees. So, placing the weight, or no weight at all, onto your thigh. Knees are bent and lined up. Lifting the lower part of the leg, we're rotating the knee open and closed. Open and closed, good. Keeping those legs parallel, squeezing 
the side glute as we lift up at the top of that movement. Good. Lower and lift. Squeeze, make it count. Don't spend too much time at the bottom of the movement, but do spend a split second at the top of the movement, really squeezing and lifting that knee. Good. Not letting that top hip roll back, keeping it stacked. Abs are in. We've got six, five, four, three, last two, and final one. Extend the top leg out long, and we're gonna flex the foot here. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Lengthening out through that heel. Keeping the torso still and stable. Again, with all these moves, really squeezing at the very top of the lift. Making the movement count. Keep it up. We're nearly there. Only a few more moves to go. Six, five, four. Keep those toes pulled back toward the shin for two and one. Holding here, moving into those circles. Toe is pointed now. Stable in the torso, drawing nice, smooth, controlled circles for five, four, three, keep that leg lifted, two, and one, reverse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, pause. Now 10 circles, tiny circles each way. One, two, three, four, toe is pointed. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, whoo, two, and one, lower down. Place the weight off to the side of the mat. Come on to your supporting leg, knee. Walk your hands out a little bit further. Curl the toe, push up into one-legged dog. Stretch and lengthen through the spine. And now fold the leg under the body for pigeon pose. Take a moment here. Regulate the breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth for three and two and one. Cross your legs as you sweep to face knee. Hips are evenly weighted. We're gonna lift the shoulders up by the ears. Inhale and exhale, melt them down and back for three and two and one. Amazing work, well done for completing this total body workout. I look forward to moving again with you next time.